a very classic inspired red lip with a smoky eye, very light eyeshadow. Uh, so when I describe the look for you, I like have to look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope that you like it and I hope that you try it yourself. Please let me know if you recreate any of the looks I do. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe on Instagram. I am dolled up with Emily. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye. Hello, lovelies. So we're going to start off today by priming our eyelids with our MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15. We're going to pat it in with our fingers. Um, I just wanted to show you a different kind of technique to do this. Um, you'll definitely want to make sure that your eyelids are pretty even and skin in tone and close to your skin tone when you prime today. Next we're going to go in with our Broken Saddle <laughs> um, eyeshadow on a Sigma E55, no E40, sorry I'm trying to test myself to see if I don't need my canister of brushes when I tell you what they are today. Um, and We're going to blend this into our crease, um, a little bit above our crease and don't worry if it looks weird and harsh we're going to blend it out later. Next I'm going in with Makeup Geek um, excuse me, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. I always want to call it Peach Smoothie, but it's not Peach Smoothie. Um, on a MAC 217 brush, and we are going to um, blend this deeply into our crease and also uh, blend it down onto our lid. Next, we're going to go on with MAC Brulee on another E40 brush. And we're going to blend all of this together, make everything seamless. You don't want any um, harsh lines or anything like that with this look. So just do what you would do normally, or what I would do normally. I do this every time I do my makeup, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so just blend this together until it looks how you want it to. I want it to be very diffused and not super blended. If you're wondering what's going on with my mouth, I'm whitening my teeth. Um, if you want me to do a teeth whitening video, or tell you a little bit how I do that. Um, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to do something, although it could be weird, a video of me brushing my teeth or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, so keep blending. Blend, blend, blend. Uh, next we're going to go in with MAC Naked Lunch on a Sigma E55 brush, and we're going to sweep this lightly across our lid. We just want to add a little bit of brightness. We don't want this to be super pigmented and look crazy. Next we're going to go in with a blur shot of Benefit for Poor Professional and put this on our face, blend it out like we normally do by patting and then rubbing in any excess. Uh, patting always makes it last longer and um, adhere, to, adhere to your skin. You know what I mean. Uh, a little bit better than if you just didn't do this. It helps your foundation stick to. You know what it's for. I'm, I feel like I'm not even making any sense. Um, and here's my kitty. He wanted to say hi to everybody. And also knocked down my camera. So His name's Bo. Uh, next we're going to go in with our foundation, now that the cat's gone, and we are going to uh, press this into our skin with our Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. Um, next, you see me do my foundation, I'll do a foundation routine. We're going to go in um, with our concealer and brighten up our under eyes. We're using, as always, the MAC Pro Longwear in NW15. We're going to take a little down the bridge of our nose, in between our eyebrows, on our cupid's bow and our chin and also the outer corners of our mouths our, our mouth our mouths collectively we're doing this together remember um, next we're going to blend it out with our sigma f86 um, and uh, I use my finger for my cupid's bow because with my teeth whitening trays I couldn't get the brush in there to do what I needed it to do so just blend this out until it looks how you want it to and set with some uh, Makeup Forever Pressed HD powder, something along those lines. We're using a tapered highlighter brush as always. And next we're going to go in with our Benefit Hula Bronzer and we're going to deeply contour our face today. Um, don't worry if it looks a little harsh because we're going to blend it out later, but we just want this to be pretty pretty heavy today. Make sure you bring some up onto your temple, onto your forehead, 
your jawline. Um, today, surprisingly, I'm not contouring my nose um, just because I feel like it didn't really, that technique didn't really go with the rest of the look that I was doing. Um, and just be watchful of how much you apply to your forehead. Sometimes you can look dirty. Um, so, yeah, just be careful. And careful how much you bring onto your lower uh, jawline, too. Your lower, your upper jawline. Your lower jawline, um, just because you can look dirty there, too. And I don't, I don't want my bronzer to make me look like I haven't bathed. I would assume most of you don't want that, either. Um, so, after we get them pretty fair, um, pretty fair, pretty matching, uh, we're going to, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> we're going to blend it out with a Sigma Duo Fiber Brush, highlight with some NYX Narcissist Illuminator, um, and then we're going to go in with MAC Peachy Keen um, Blush, sorry that my swatch, or not swatch, my like little clips of all of the products that I'm using are so out of focus today. Um, but we're putting this blush on with a Essence of Beauty big fluffy brush. And next we're going to show some quick snippets of me doing my eyebrows. And there you go. One's done almost already. Um, all I have to do is comb them out at this point once this one is done being filled in. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And there you go. Brows. Um, next I'm setting them in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is the best. I have a NYX one that doesn't even compare. Uh, next we're going to go in with some uh, Saddle and some Naked Lunch. And we're mixing those two together and we're blending it with a pencil, br pencil brush on our lower lash line. Just to kind of bring some co cohesiveness. And next we're highlighting, I believe, with Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma, um, and we're having a very light hand on our um, brow bone today, and then we're going to bring some into the inner corner. Now we're going in with some eyeliner. Uh, this is a gel liner by Maybelline, the Eye Studio, um, and it's just an angled eyeliner brush, and we're going to do a little tiny baby cat eye. Um, I didn't want them to be too, too big, because you know, looks weird sometimes. At least, I don't like it on me when my wings are giant. I like the tiny ones. Um, and please don't think that this is real time at all. This takes me forever. <laughs> That's why I don't normally do it. So next we're going to tight line with a, an Estee Lauder coal pencil. You could use any coal pencil. Um, and then we're going to put some on our uh, inner rim as well. I don't have footage of it, but I... Um, or, well, I'm curling my lashes a very little bit because I'm going to be putting on falsies. Um, and um, I'm going over my lashes so they're darker with some uh, NYX Curvaceous Mascara. Hey everyone, so my humor died, um, but I put on some lashes, some red lipstick. I used the NYX Butter lipstick. Um, yeah, I hope that you like this classic kind of makeup tutorial. Oh. I also did my hair and put some earrings in so I don't look like I'm going to bed. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day. Bye!